Hello everyone, welcome again and today I'm going to show you demo of another application in Spring Boot. Uh, so this is car parking booking system and for the backend or uh, like technical side we are using Spring Boot to manage the uh, like controller side and it's using JPA Hibernate and for managing the front end thing it's using JSP. So and uh, it's like a uh, using tiles also it's a maven application it's using lombok all the annotations spring boot and deployed over the tomcat server but okay to manage the backend thing it's using uh, mysql database and these are the table users slots parking and booking so let's run the application like i already running the server uh, my server is already running so i just stop it and i'm going to run in the, my runner class from here so to run it just right click on the application file go to run it run it as a java application and wait until uh, the server will start and uh, give a port number to you and <clears throat> to find the context path you can go under the resources application or property you will find the context path here and the configured port number is 8081 here once the server will start uh, you need to go over your browser now uh, mostly use the chrome browser and just enter localhost and this URL you can enter here localhost at 0801 and the context path that we have just copied from application to property file will come here so now you can see the application is launched and uh, this is the home page it is using a background image sign up option is there and the sign in option is there uh, so for the sign up what we need to do is you can register the customer or you can say the uh, students that are going to park the um, parking uh, vehicle they can register here by filling up this detail and click on the add button the data will be registered into the database <laughs> now when I click on the login button this is the login form and there are multiple users uh, in the application so when I view the data of this user table I can see two types of user type role type is there admin and user so I'm going to just log in as an admin. So just enter as a username, email ID, and the password will be like admin at the rate one to three. So I just enter the password. Okay, it's showing me wrong. So I'm going to just copy it from here to here. And this is the password of it. So I just hit the sign in button. And I can see here under the aid parking like uh, after login as an admin I have option to add the parking so I can say say parking number 5 let's say and address of that parking slot number let's suppose this parking have a 50 slots and I click on the aid button and now when I view the list I can see the newly added parking is there and if I to view the parking slots and when I hit the view button and all the 50 slots are available right now in this condition but um, also as an admin I can delete or edit this records and this parking detail and I hit the book button in case if I want to book and let's suppose I want to book a slot number two I just hit the uh, like date and time <clears throat> uh, same date I want to go it for 12 p.m. And click on the edit button the booking is added successfully now if I view the availability from here from here just click on the view now you will see the slot this slot is booked and now uh, as an admin I have an option to mark it available if I hit this button it will be available okay so let's see like this okay now uh, another thing I can delete the record as a parking I can delete and ed edit it also I as an admin I can book it from here and after that I can add a new user by filling up this form and that user will be displayed here in the user list that, you, that this is the user that recently we have added also I can do edit operation and delete operation for this user list and I can check the booking history that is done by the other user also also as an admin I have option to cancel the any booking uh, if uh, I, as an admin I want to cancel it I can do it under the my profile section I can check myself data and when I hit the logout button now I'm going to log in as a an user and let's see what user can do over there so I'm just entering the uh, username and the password for that user hit the login button uh, as an user I can only view the parkings I can view the slots and I can book a parking 
so let's suppose in this uh, I'm going to check the slots available slots in this parking the parking one so five slots are available so I want to book a slot number three and I just select the date time and again to date and time click on add and when I view the parking list here this option is booked but if you notice uh, as an user I don't have an option to mark it available so what can I do uh, I can go to the booking history I can check my recently booking and I can if I want I can cancel it let's suppose I cancel it and now if I view the slots in the parking one this will be available the record um, three okay same status will be updated for the admin side also so this is the student car parking management system and uh, my profile option is there no. okay so it's using spring boot and hibernate okay if you need the source code you can connect us over the whatsapp over the mail and in case if you need other services like how the things are working over there how uh, how to do the setup we have a remote team so they will do the complete setup at your machine also in case if you want to understand and learn these things like how the configuration is uh, like how the project is developing over there what the coding format and what internally we, it's 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 doing uh, so you can connect us for that you can we have multiple services just to give a thank you